guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Information About Brokerage Services form, or IABS, to your email signature. So, are you ready? Of course you are. Let's go! Okay, so in this video, we're going to build off the previous video that I did about how to fill out your first Information About Brokerage Services form. So if you don't know how to do that yet, you'll need to go back and rewatch or watch that first video. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add it to your Gmail signature and an Outlook 365 signature and maybe some bonus signatures at the end. So we're going to start by going to the source, and that is the Texas Association of Realtors because we want to find out how to do this properly. So they have a lot of information uh, on their website about how to do this correctly. And they have two examples here. Uh, this second one shows how not to do it. And a lot of agents do it this way. Uh, they add it to the end of their signature, and that's not proper. So we actually have to add it prior to the signature. And what we can do is actually copy and paste the exact verbiage that they have here. And I'll just click copy on that and then let's go to our Gmail account and we'll edit our signature so I'm in Gmail now and to edit your signature you simply click on the little gear icon for settings and then we'll go down to settings and then we'll scroll down to where the signature is and there it is and we're going to paste the verbiage that we just copied and it's kind of big so I'm going to make it a little smaller now how to add the link okay so that is not a link to anything it actually links back to the Texas uh, real estate page how do we link it to ours in the last video I showed you how to save it to your computer and I saved mine to Dropbox you can save yours to a um, OneDrive account which is Microsoft you can save it to Google Drive, which uh, corresponds good with the Gmail, but I've saved mine to Dropbox. It has to be a cloud-based service, which means that your IEBS will be stored in the cloud, not on your physical computer. So, here's mine, and I'm going to right-click on it, and you'll scroll up and see Copy Dropbox Link. Okay, then we'll go back, highlight that, we can click on the little link button and we'll paste the new link here. You can even test it if you like. We'll go ahead and try that. And there it is. So you have to uh, hit OK and then make sure you scroll down and save your changes. And that's how you update your signature in Gmail to be compliant and to provide your information about broker services um, to your clients. So now I'm going to show you how to edit your signature in Outlook 365. This is actually the email that I use on a daily basis because I do a lot of email and Outlook 365 enables me to keep a lot of folders and manage my email a lot more effectively than a Gmail account. You could actually forward a Gmail account to Outlook 365 and just makes it a lot more user friendly, I think. So to Edit your signature, simply go up to the top here by the little light bulb that's a tell me what you want to do. You could type almost anything in here and if Outlook can do it, it will show you how to do it. So it's a really good help tool. So I'm just going to type signature and it already comes up and we'll click on signatures. And there's the signature that I have now. So we'll have to go back to that main document and again We'll paste it. And I think it's kind of big, so we'll go ahead and make it a little smaller. And then we got to get the link to link it to. Go back to where we have our link. Copy Dropbox link. And then we'll highlight it again and click on the little link icon. And simply paste it in there. Click OK. OK, and now your signature is updated. So if I click New Email, 
There's my new signature in compliance with TREC. So I'll show you a couple of bonus places that you can add your signature. And one of those would be uh, Zip Forms itself. So when you're in Zip Forms, and you're going to be sending a lot of contracts and forms to your clients, uh, it's good to have that signature in compliance as well. So to edit that, simply click on the little icon for you. Uh, click Profile and Settings. And then uh, you'll about me, it looks like the signatures on the first tab here about me. Let's see. And there's the signature. And we've got to go back again and copy the main verbiage. Copy. Back to zip forms. Paste. Now I need to highlight. Go back and get our link. So you can see there's a, a lot of back and forth. Copy Dropbox link. Highlight that again. Click the little link icon. Enter the URL. Done. And then um, save that. Okay. And one last place I'll show you where to add it is in Matrix or the MLS because you'll be using that quite a bit to send lists of properties to your clients. And so you'll want uh, that signature to be in compliance as well. So once you're logged into Matrix, uh, simply click on the tab My Matrix and scroll down to the settings. And then we'll click on Email Signature. And there's the signature. I'll go back here and copy back. Okay, and then we'll highlight that, get our link. Click on the little link icon, paste the URL here, click OK, and that's done. So that'll be a link um, once you've saved it. And so that's it. Uh, the process is the same uh, regardless of which email you're using, whether it's Gmail, Yahoo, probably AOL, not sure, but Basically, uh, put in the language that you want and then click on the little link icon and then once you get the dialog box for where the little link icon is, then you put the link in and that becomes a hyperlink so that when people uh, click on it, they are taken to your new information about brokerage services and you are now in compliance with Trek. So, thanks for watching.